Hey, Marco. Um, what's going on? Uh, so, so today I wanted to kind of get your, I know it's been a few weeks now since you actually had the go, the, you know, the beacon. Um, so I just kind of wanted to get your, your kind of two cents on it and, and, you know, what it's done for you so far and, you know, what are your thoughts on it? Well, it's been really, really impressive, actually. The data um, still impresses me uh, to this day. I got it on Friday about a week and a half ago or so. Okay. And um, what I did was I put the beacon inside of a listing that I have in a sort of high traffic area where it's okay. off kind of a main drag. And um, a lot of uh, unique visits uh, since last Friday. We have over, I think, 50 unique clicks on the on the home because wow as a realtor you just want to go kind of above and beyond marketing to impress your seller to see hey is there anything else i can do to get eyes on the property so yeah. um, what i decided to do is put one of the beacons in the house put a sign in the yard that said hey do you want to see inside the house android users turn your bluetooth on and check your notifications for a virtual property tour so um since the day I dropped it in the ground, I've had over 50 unique clicks. And once a person or a passerby clicks on that link, it sends them to a virtual tour and a virtual staging of the property. Okay. Uh, so it's a vacant home. So, you know, just to kind of go above and beyond what other realtors are doing in Atlanta, I'm probably the first one in Atlanta doing this right now. I don't think anybody else is doing it. So um, have, you, have you told, have you told your, uh, the person that you're listing the house for, have you told them what you're doing and, and what have they said? Oh, they're just, they're just really impressed. You know, yeah. I mean, um, cause it's out of the box. I mean, I mean, it's, it's totally out of the box. Like, it's like there is no box, man. Cause no yeah. one, no one's, no one's doing this, you know? And I remember the seller asking me what I was doing for marketing for the house about a few weeks ago. Um, you know, I'm thinking my contract is coming up, you know, I wonder yeah. if she's going to list with me, you know, what can I do to, to like completely break the mold to show her that I'm creative and I am, you know, going out of that box, so to speak, with marketing for the home. So the interesting part about putting the sign in the yard and how it says Android users only, right. I actually got a sign call from an iPhone user that couldn't get the virtual tour link. So he was like, how do I do this on my iPhone? I go, well, obviously the sign says Android, first of right. all, but that's an unrepresented buyer asking a question about a home that I wouldn't have got if sure. that sign wasn't a call to action for him. So it's kind of a good thing that this didn't work for, it doesn't work for all, you know, cell phones and then the market. Yeah. So okay. I kind of look at that as an advantage. And then not only that, other realtors around Atlanta are going by the home, looking at that sign and they're clicking on the link and they're calling me asking me, how do I, how am I doing this? Right. So it is, um, it is brand, brand new type of marketing. And there are other systems out there that will, you know, you call a number, or you text the number, and then they'll give you a property, you know, tour or something like that. Right, you have to opt in for, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, exactly. But those are, and by the way, I can set up an opt-in page on that, on that link where yeah. I can get an email on a phone number before they see the tour, but I'm just in testing phase just to see how many clicks I'm getting. So I think later on I'm going to put a, a capture page on there so I can truly get a buyer lead. Okay. Um, awesome. So, so, yeah, so, so would you recommend it for other realtors? I mean, all day. Okay. All day. You awesome. know, there's, especially if you have a home that's off of a main drag that gets a lot of attention through like traffic, you know, cars driving by, people walking in the neighborhood. This, this home is in Candler Park here in Atlanta. And that, that park has a lot of people walking by. Sure. You know, people walking their dogs, you know, there's restaurants that are less than a mile. There's the belt line that's less than a mile. If anybody knows the Atlanta belt line, it's extremely popular. Everybody wants to be right. around. So especially if you have a home that is in a high traffic area that gets a lot of passerby traffic, absolutely, 100%. Even if your home's in a cul-de-sac in a neighborhood deep in the woods, it's still a, it's still a good thing to use because it shows. And you can put it anywhere. Time. Yeah. What if, what if somebody's selling their home and then the neighbor next door sees that sign in the yard and says, huh, I wonder who's the list, who's the listing agent that is, is created. So it's, it's advertising for you too, because it's like, Oh, this person is doing something out of the box. I want him to advertise my, my house like that also. Absolutely. hundred percent. Okay, cool. Awesome. So, I just wanted to uh, check in with you and, and kind of give, you know, your two cents on it. And um, yeah, let us know if you need anything else. 
Hey, man, thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah.